Welcome to the Five on Five, everyone. Today we are lucky to be joined by the Oregon State Treasurer, Ted Wheeler. Welcome, Ted. Thank you very much. And for those out there that don't know what the Treasurer is tasked with doing, just, just tell them out, a little bit about it. Yeah, well, if, if you don't know what the Treasurer does, you're not alone. Uh, pretty much nobody knows what the State Treasury does. And that's why I call it the most important state agency that people don't know anything about. In short, it manages the state's $72 billion of state investments, so it's the common school fund that supports uh, education, public education, uh, the Higher Education Endowment Fund, the State Accident Insurance Fund, and of course we manage the investments in the PERS accounts. We also issue and manage the state's debt. We're largely responsible for maintaining or improving the state's credit rating. We administer the Oregon College Savings Plan, and we have a whole host of programs that help Oregon families. Everything from a uh, website that helps uh, identify potential fraud and abuse, uh, as well as providing services that could just make things easier for families to understand their own financial needs. Okay, and the governor has asked you to help draft a new economic development strategy for the state. Where are we in the process of implementation? It's very exciting to me. It's called the Oregon Investment Act. The purpose of the act is to improve the way Oregon handles economic development. So we provide uh, coordination to the resources that are currently provided around economic development. We provide flexibility in terms of how those resources are deployed to make sure we're getting the maximum bang for the buck in terms of jobs created and in terms of contribution to per capita wage growth. And lastly, the Oregon Investment Act helps us leverage a little bit of public resource with a lot of private sector investment in the Oregon economy. It was overwhelmingly passed by both houses of the legislature, and I'm proud to say Governor Kitzhaber signed it into law last Friday. So we're ready to roll and make sure that it gets implemented properly. Now, one of your inner office tasks was to make the department more efficient. What did you change and why? Well, we've changed many things since I took office. The, you know, an imperative uh, from my perspective is that we be as accountable and as transparent as possible, that we look for ways to better invest the state assets and also look for ways to better save the state money. Let me give you just one example in the latter category. A few weeks ago, without any fanfare, we did something kind of boring. We refinanced $187 million of the state's debt, but in so doing, we saved taxpayers $35 million over the life of the bonds that were supported. Uh, that's more than twice my agency's annual operating budget. And that's just one of many cost-saving measures we've undertaken since I took office. Wow, that's a lot of money. Well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more 5 on 5 right after this. Welcome back to the Five on Five. We are here with Ted Wheeler, who is the Oregon State Treasurer, and we are talking about, obviously, uh, the state of Oregon and its finances. Since the 2008, the state of Oregon and most people have suffered economic hardship. What, if anything, can your office do to help this recession turn around? Oh, our, our office is very heavily engaged in economic development, and, and certainly this all happens under the leadership of the governor with full support of the legislature. Uh, but as, as we talked about earlier, the Oregon Investment Act helps get capital to businesses that are ready to grow and hire Oregonians and put them back to work. I'm also working with my colleagues and the governor and his colleagues in the state of Washington and California to help find ways that we can invest better and more responsibly in infrastructure projects. Those are things like roads, bridges, schools, airports, seaports, higher education, research and development capacity. We're looking for a long-term way that we can get pools of projects here in Oregon funded by pools of institutional investors who we already partner with on a whole host of investments. So we're trying to get the capital to Oregon communities, and that would help employ people today, but it would also lay the foundation for future economic competitiveness. And finally, of course, we are responsible for the state's debt. We issue the state's bonds. Uh, recently, we issued uh, a significant number of bonds for 55 capital construction projects around the state of Oregon with the stated goal of not only uh, laying future uh, foundations for growth, but also employing 5,500 Oregonians. Now, if our viewers need to get in touch with your office, how can they do that? Well, they're certainly welcome to go to our website 
And rather than giving the URL, I would just encourage people to do a quick search for Oregon State Treasury, and you'll land right on our web page, and we'd love to hear from people. All right, Ted, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. We really appreciate I it. I appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll have more news right after this.